Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. I am Zerul. I'll be your conductor for today's train wreck of the episode. Today, we're going to go ahead and get a few things accomplished here. Um, I want to get a portal built into the nether, and then I want to see if we have enough time after maybe we'll go, we'll go collect a few things in the nether. I want to dig myself a um, room for the portal, and we also want to start getting some power in place because... I really need a better way of organizing. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and dive into this here. Uh, let's go ahead. Yep, there we go. Let me go and show you a few things that I've changed in the meanwhile. So I, w I went ahead and just a tad bit upgraded the smeltery here. And the reason why I did this, this is a seems to be a very efficient method of doubling your ores. No grinding necessarily, just immediate smelting. Um, what I've got laid out, here, let's go ahead and grab a stack of gold. Yeah, here we go. So, let's say we've got, let's go ahead and throw a full thing of gold in here. So that is 54 gold blocks. This should make us a 108 ingots of gold. Uh, and it doesn't take that long for it to generate overall there. I put this little ladder here to help get up to the top in case I need to build more and stuff. But what I've done um, is I've went ahead and I've put six casting basins. So these will cast the blocks which in turn uh, I can just break down into nine of an ingot if I really need to here. Since I'm not running a correct tech I don't need a specialty machine to combine them into blocks and stuff. So we should be good to go there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 108 ingots there. So as we just go through here, you know, it's just pop, pop, pop. And then similarly back here, pop, pop, pop. And then these will drain, drain out nine ingots. And what we do is you just do this till you get close to the end, and you've got three casting tables on the other end that allows you to cast individual ingots. Um, now, I have been casting up some of the berries, which are equivalent to... Um, and I went through pretty quickly. Uh, here is the one problem that I've been running across, is if I don't gauge these correctly here, I can end up uh, not casting them the way I need. All right. Actually, did I have exactly enough? Wow, that was pretty impressive. I'm going to throw that up there. Perfect. And let's go ahead and throw some more gold in here, like so. Throw that in there. Um, so yeah, th this is very, very efficient. Does does require lava, but we have lava. I mean, lava is not really an issue at the moment here. Um, let's see, can I, here we go. I, I, because I haven't gotten anything enchanting wise, I'm just dropping my levels into my arcane empowerment table. So when I actually start playing around with this, I'll actually have a pretty high level to work with. Um, so, uh, yeah, what am I at? Like 900 mana, that should be quite sufficient. All right, so let's go ahead and do this again. Pop, pop, pop. Now, supposedly, these will respond to redstone signals. So I could actually probably put levers or something on top. Maybe some uh, redstone wiring. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that looks. And do that. Like so. Cool. Alright, uh, let's get this all made up here, and I want to make a couple of tools to enable us to more easily dig down. Let's see, that should be... Yep, there we go. Let's throw that in there. Alright. Casting. Uh, let's go ahead and throw... Let's pull these up here. So there's blank casts in here. And we want to make... Actually, let's go get our books. I did make a couple of these shelves here. This is for tools and this is for books. 
Uh, I believe it is going to be the red one. Yeah, here we go. All right. We want the excavator and the hammer. So we need a hammer head and an excavator head. All right. So let's, I've got that. All right. So we need this broad shovel, broad pattern. Where is this at? Hammerhead. I'm guessing that's probably going to be the broad shovel. Hammerhead, large plate, large plate, tough rod. Excavator. That's probably going to be the, the broad that. All right. So... Apparently that didn't work there. Stone hammerhead. And is here anything else I'm missing? Stone excavator. All right. Perfect. Let's go ahead and cast these two things up. Like so. Cast. Cast. There we go. All right. So that should be enough. Let's go ahead and cast, just recast the rest of these for the time being. Uh, so we're gonna throw this in here because we. So we also need the plate and the tough rod. I think that will be all that we will need. Double check one more time. Tough binding. Ooh, did I make one of those? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Now, I did make a few of these ingots here. These are uh, alumilite. These require molten obsidian, molten tin, and molten aluminum. And they're supposed to make the next level. I'm not going to worry about this quite yet. I'm going to be making some tools out of that later. But for the moment, let's cast the rest of that up. And we'll just do that and empty this out. Alright, and let's put the empty casts in here. Now, since we're going to be using iron for this purpose, let's go ahead and grab a stack of iron ore. Get it cooking. Might as well. I have been doing a little bit of mining underground. So, I have a decent amount of resources. I've got to all over the place here. Uh, I did go off and do some adventuring. I found a desert and some more, um, more buildings out that way. I haven't found a village yet. I need to find a village so I can get some villagers at some point. I haven't found a village yet. Um, but I did find various plants and things like that. Some cactuses. Um, orchids and various interesting stuff. Alright, we are getting there. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw our cast down. We, we need... Let's see here. One sh How many plates do we need? Alright, so we need one, two, three large plates, two tough rods, and a tough blinding. I think we can do that. Let's just pour these out. So two tough rods next. I want to do this because what I'm gonna be I want to put my nether portal underground, and this is gonna make digging it out a whole lot easier here. A whole lot easier. Alright, pull this up. Nope, we need to put the plate back down. So plate. Nope. Uh tough binding. Tool rod. Nope. Uh, tough tool rod. There we go. Alright, so we can put these back in. 
One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Put that there and put this back down. Perfect. All right. How much do we have left in there? 67. 9, 18, 27. 36. 45, 54. All right. So let's jump over here. So we're going to make this all out of iron just for simplicity's sake. So let's do the excavator first. Excavator head. Yep, I'm one short. I need to make another one of those. Uh, binding that. This will be our little digger. And where is that's not the that's the matic. Yeah, I need an extra plate, so let's pull that one out and do one more of those. Knew I was forgetting something. Eight, seven, six. That's using up quite a bit of that. Alright, let's go ahead and dump that out. Put this back in the chest. I want to y'all see the process here is this gives me most of the tools that I really need here. One, two. Uh, let's see here. This is our little sledge. All right. So we got a little digger and a little sledge. These should be able to make big swaths in the ground here. Let's go and go to sleep. And then we'll get to digging. All right, so I've, I've got this section over here cut out and ready. So let's give a little sledge a try. There we go. That worked pretty well. Ah, perfect. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? It's like a shovel, except much bigger. Yep, there's the music. Hope the music's not too loud. Let's check it real quick. Yep, let's turn it down. A little bit lower. All right. So we gotta go ahead now. We're gonna extend this out. We're just gonna make a straight shot from here. Like so. Oh, by the way, um... I do want to, uh, for those who, who happen to notice, I do want to uh, pay, uh, say thanks. I have noticed, you'll probably see my mouse moving. Um, I don't know if it's always been like this, but apparently my, it's not, it wasn't recording my mouse movements, which I apologize. That, sh that was a very simplistic mis mistake. I should have already called. Uh, so let's see. Digging. Perfect. All right, and so like that. Let's turn that volume down a little bit more. There we go. Don't mind it being a little bit, but we do want to cut back some. All right, now let's say we put that there. There we go. Oh, that's really convenient. And then we'll break that. Like so. That's good. And let's break that. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dig down a ways here. Um, actually, this is probably... Yeah, let's dig down just a little bit more. Uh, let's dig in the wall one. Like so. And... There we go. I think this should give us enough space. Yep, 
There we go. All right. I think I'll align this with regular stone stairs in a moment here. But let's go ahead and dig into the wall now. We'll just go back several this way. Like so. And let's dig a few this way here. Oh, this this makes this makes digging out an area really simple. Really simplistic. And let's light whoop, wrong one. No, wrong buttons. Perfect. Now let's head back outside and get this walkway area kind of done here. Like this. We're gonna follow the same pattern as the as the originally, which is not much of a pattern, but I'm not focusing on design aesthetics here. I just want to look somewhat s the same. Alright, and then let's get our cobblestone back out. And let's start placing the cat. The cat. Yes, we're going to start placing the cats down. Only had some cats. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get the bit of this built. Um, this is all pretty straightforward, so I will see you after the cut. Alright, so I have gotten this place all situated here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more of this real quick since I'm back up here. I've done a little bit of digging down here, and... I'm kind of matching this the way the top looks. I've got this little room that I've dug down in here, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it there, but probably something related to power generation or something like that. Um, and I've decided that this series, rather than build higher and higher for stuff, we're going to build ourselves an underground labyrinth of caves and stuff. Probably not to rival the uh, the other caves over there, but nonetheless. Oh, so, uh, another thing that I, that I created for myself, I created a knapsack, which is simply some leather, gold, and two iron rods. It equips in this section here, and then it allows you an extra storage space. This is really handy here. All right, let's ignite our portal here. Let's go ahead and throw this into our knapsack. And we'll see what we have on the other side of the nether. We need to go deeper. Deeper. They talk too deep. Uh. Whoa! Holy moly, we are right in the middle. Oh, getting some lag. We generated right in the middle. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, I have another fortress. Okay, there's some quartz. Okay. So let's go and do a bit of digging here and see what we have. Tainted soil, all right. Here's your traditional nether rack. Yep, I hear you. Let's go and light some of this up here. Whoa. Got some interesting ores and stuff in the area here. All right, what was that? Oh, that must have been a blaze. Come on, blaze. Oh, that's just lovely here. Missed me, missed me. All right, let's go ahead and head back through here.
Alrighty then. Well, I was gonna go get some quartz, but I think I'll probably get some quartz off camera here. Uh, I'll need the quartz in making some stuff for applied energistics. Let's go and do uh, a little bit more in preparation for power generation. So here is oak sapling. Uh, rubber. All right, so we got two different rubber trees. One is for your standard IC2. The other one, I believe, is for factorization. No, no, mine factory re reloaded. That was it. Man, I can't even think properly at the moment. I blame the blazes. Uh, let's go ahead and dig some of this out here. So, I have been uh, doing a bit of... Well, I haven't been doing a whole lot of gaming recently. Uh, in comparison to what I was a little while back there. I'm doing a decent amount of reading and listening to different things, podcasts and stuff. Uh, I have just started listening to the um, Welcome to Night Vale podcast, which apparently I had never heard of it before, but it's supposedly like the number one podcast in America. Kind of like a combination between H.P. Lovecraft and Orson Welles. All right, just put this down here. All right, now let's go ahead and grab. Let's see if we have any bones in storage somewhere here. Nine. Uh, we must have a pigman. Hello, pigman. How are you doing? Enjoy enjoying the hospitality. Uh, right. I didn't. Maybe maybe this does load the chunk. Of it. So I'm, I'll need to keep a close eye out for other things spawning in the base. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, let's grab the the Bunyan Co. Mini Chopper. I don't know if I showed you all this time, but this is extremely handy. It allows you to chop trees down with a, uh, breaking just a single block. All right, so, up. Man. Okay, so, it looks like they just need a lot of space. Let's go ahead and break out our mini chopper. There we go. So from this, we need lots and lots of rubber. This type of rubber can be used for a number of things. It mainly is used for making interesting sound. Um, like sheets of rubber. Let's go ahead and do this now. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, oh, Let's fix this. There we go. Here is the really nice thing about this hatchet. Makes it look better than the little axe. It kind of works like a... Uh, uh, do we have any saplings? Yes. What was I saying? Uh, oh, like shears. So it should be really convenient for us to do this with. All right, let's go ahead and break this down now. All right. Come on. There we go. We'll just leave, we'll leave this thing sticking out the top there. But, uh, yeah, I've started listening to the Night Vale uh, podcast. It's actually pretty interesting there. Um, kind of a combination, like I said, of uh, 
Orson Welles with the War of the Worlds and some H.P. Lovecraft and interesting bit of humor. Um, I've also just started reading the newest Brendan Sanderson novel, Steel Hard. If y'all haven't picked it up, I'd recommend it. It's a pretty interesting book. Um, it's kind of a a darker take on what would happen if superheroes showed up there or people with superpowers. With the general concept of uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely and, and the result of all that. All right, let's go ahead and get back over here real quick. We got to go to sleep and reset the day. And reset. All right, let's go and head back out real quick. Get a few more of these things chopped down. I learned about the uh, eat there. The Night Vale uh, podcast. I was listening to the PBS Idea channel. There we go. On YouTube. Which I actually use a different account for viewing. I think maybe I'll maybe I should start viewing stuff with my with this account so that you all can see what I'm up to and and what I like watching there. I watch a lot of Minecraft videos and things like that. Um, the new farm that Doc M has come out with uh, or has posted about um, looks pretty interesting. I might try that on my vanilla. Rubber tree sapling. Grow. All right. That's really convenient. And really tall. All right. This should start dissolving. There we go. That should take care of that sufficiently. We have an ender top floating around here somewhere. Sounds like we have an ender top floating around here somewhere. Uh, trees. Good. All right. So I'll just be able to start producing these in mass. Like I have been in the other trees. Yeah, there we go. And so, after a bit of this, I have should have plenty of rubber for starting to work on Mine Factory Reloaded. I really, really want to do a lot of stuff with the Mine Factory Reloaded. That looks like it's could be. It looks like it's a lot of fun, uh, especially since I don't have too many ways of getting cows and sheep over here. Where is this ender tot at? You are making noises and you are annoying me. Oh, I did find a spawner down there, by the way. Uh, which I'll go down and show y'all at some point. Uh, which I actually found the... Uh, y'all might remember from the previous season, I was having a, a whole lot of problems. Um, in regards... That is the wimpiest tree. All right. Man, that tree was so wimpy that I just completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, um... The programmable matrix ray, which you can only find in, in dungeon chest. I found one on the very first dungeon chest that I ran across, so that's really cool. Alright... Uh, let's see here. Don't care about the seeds. Break that down. And we'll be able to start tapping these trees for resin pretty soon once we get the farm in. So for the time being, it's all manual labor, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Uh, rubber tree saplings. 
Yeah, let's put this here. Any more of these guys? Yes. Yes, and dearly do. Alright, let's go ahead and grow a few of these up. Gotta love the bone meal. And of course, our Bunyan Co. mini chopper. Bunyan Co. When you need a lot wood chopped, there's only one place to go. Bunyan Co. Alrighty, I think this should be a pretty good wrapping up point here. Haven't done a whole lot, but I've got the base built out a little bit. Uh, we're starting to plant these trees over here. Uh, I've got a few more tools made up. And we got another portal, which hopefully doesn't spawn anywhere. The skeleton's in the middle of our base while we're sleeping or anything. So, and I got a feeling this is just going to keep sprawling and sprawling as it as more and more time goes by encompassing more and more of this of the landscape as any good proper laboratory should be sprawling and encompassing all that it surveils man that ender tot is driving me nuts all right well like i said this is probably a good wrapping up point so uh, i will see you on the next episode when we are going to start working with maybe some dark craft or some power generation since we got all this uh, got all of this uh, force stuff and see what that's like and probably start putting a few things together in relation there we go chop that down there we go uh Putting a few things together in, in relation to applied energistics. See what the newest versions of applied energistics look like. So, hope you all have enjoyed uh, watching. I have enjoyed making this. Yeah, any comments, drop, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Later.